Hello everyone, my name is Maria Konjelska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture in the times of quarantine. I guess everyone is a little bit hungry for more art since we couldn't go to any exhibition or play or even to the cinema during last almost two months. And today with me is Sylvia Garak, a phenomenal painter and singer from Poland which, and if you haven't heard about it, you have to check it out. Sylvia, are you there? Yeah, hello. Hello to you. How are you feeling right now during this actually beautiful day, but in the middle of pandemic? Oh, actually I feel great because I'm locked in my studio working on my project, but I also have a beautiful garden. I've been lucky to have it. so. I just enjoy my art and the nature. <laughs> Maybe it's actually uh, it's a good trigger to work even a little bit more because there are no excuses to go out. to ask but except the fact that you are a painter and a singer and you've been able to exhibit your works in many places in the world including New York and uh, Krakow National Museum and private collections you've also prepared something uh, very special which is the biggest sundial in the world uh, which is placed in Dusseldorf in Germany Tell us, uh, so what is it? Is it like a sun clock? Yes, there. Yes, it is exactly what you said. It is a sun clock, but it has uh, a little bit more of functions because sun clock, as we know it, everybody knows it, it shows us the time. You can read the time. But sundial is some, you can read the time, but also a calendar. It's kind of calendar, but at the same time, uh, astrological calendar a little bit because it also dials um, zodiac sign. You don't only know how to paint and sing, but you know something about astrology, time and month. So uh, maybe you connect it to, I don't know, some ancient nations, Egyptians, for example. Well, how did you prepare the sundial? How, how the works look like? Uh, it's actually conceptual art, urban art as we were talking at the beginning about conceptualists that I'm also working on at the, from time to time. So I received this art stipend in Dieseldorf. Mm, it was actually a stipend of scholarship of the city of Dieseldorf. And I went there because uh, I got very um, interested in the Rheinturm Tower, actually German TV tower in Dieseldorf. It's close to the Rhine River, and uh, I uh, I just noticed that this is the biggest uh, cyber clock in the world because um, there is you can read the time there there is this Japanese uh, company Seiko clock for the clock. It's all already the biggest um, cybernetic clock in the world. But it's kind of gnomon. I was like, oh my god, it's, it's just like an obelisk from the ancient Egypt of, or ancient Rome. It's like Solarium Augusti, actually. Uh, Solarium Augusti is uh, this famous archaeological sign that was kind of also sundial and uh, sun calendar. It's like one big column that is, is uh, especially um, placed and employed as a gnomon. So I did the same thing with this uh, TV tower in Dieseldorf. I just made those countings that are needed. The shadow it cast shows the time. Of course, it's like a universal time because uh, the official time that we have is a little bit different. It's kind of artificial. It's not connected to the time that uh, sun really shows. And though all kind of uh, sun clocks and sun dials uh, shows this uh, real cosmic, let's say, time. 
Uh, and uh, also uh, it can work as a calendar. So this Rentur, Rentur TV, uh, excuse my German, <laughs> TV tower that works as a sun clock also works as a calendar as uh, it, it can also show the zodiac signs uh, by casting the shadows. The most important person who actually uh, helped me with those cantings was a professor from Columbia and Pittsburgh University, Mr. John Buster, that I connected via internet and we started uh, discussing my idea. So, uh, he really helped me professionally a lot because it needs a lot of actually knowledge, uh, professional knowledge. And we did it. And also there was this great article in Westdeutsche Zeitung, excuse my German again, Westdeutsche Zeitung, uh, about this project. And they started talking about it as a Guinness World Record, so you you record, just <laughs> you were <laughs> able to sundial in the world, but it was just for the press. For me, it was a little bit funny. Even I now I cannot pronounce it correctly. Guinness World Record, yeah. So, <laughs> but interesting yeah. thing. So you are able all the time just to cross the boundaries between different elements, but also different regions and different cultures and places. So you found this TV tour in Dusseldorf and you realized it could be a big sundial and then you invite a professor from uh, Columbia University to help you with the countings. Yeah, because he was a professional in it. So. Of course, yeah, but it sounds like even to able to just encourage someone to take part in such a project needs some guts. So congratulations for having them and also just being able to find it out. So if you viewers of Poland Daily are interested in the biggest sundial in the world, which is in Dusseldorf, made by a Polish artist, Sylvia Garak. Go there where, where, when, of course, the borders will be open again. Check it out. And also, it's worth mentioning that the time which we have on our clocks is not exactly that the sun time which we're having in every single place and the sundial is showing you the right cosmic time in every single place not an artificial one that's fabulous very interesting sylvia again thank you very much for showing this to us and you the viewers of poland daily thank you for being with us and bye bye see you in the next episode